Hi everyone, I'm Neha from Neha Auntie's Reading Room, where we teach children how to be anti-racist one book at a time. It is July 2020 and we are in the midst of a pandemic which is ravaging so many people across the world. Additionally, we are in the midst of an absolutely necessary civil rights revolution in the United States. I think that feelings of fear, anxiety, and hopelessness are incredibly high right now. And it's all really scary, but I think also necessary for us to build a better future filled with more equality and respect for each other. So one tool that I rely on to help me keep me grounded in times of hopelessness is meditation. I grew up saying mantras, and I can tell you firsthand meditation has changed my life, which is why I am incredibly excited to share today's reading with you, Finding Ohm. Finding Ohm is a really sweet story about a girl exploring parts of her heritage while learning about meditation. So with that, let's start the reading. Finding Ohm by Rashmi Bismarck, pictures by Morgan Hoff. A pupa, a pupa called Anu. Why do you keep saying, um, do you have a question about something? Hello, my Anu, Apupa chuckled. I'm not saying, um, I'm saying, om. When chanted slowly, it makes the sound, om. I like saying it, Apupa, om, om, om. Anu felt the soft vibration of sounds fill her belly, chest, and head. It makes my body and my lips buzz. Om, sang Anu as she danced around the room. Ah, buzzing, a very good observation, Apupa answered. Om is nature's very own vibration. It is the sound of the entire universe buzzing with life. That's what makes Om such a special mantra. What's a mantra? Anu asked. Mantra is an ancient Sanskrit word from India, Apupa explained. Man means mind and tra means instrument. A mantra is an instrument for the mind. Vibrations made by the sound of a mantra are like music. The rhythm and song connect you to the mantra's meaning. Your mind, body, heart, and spirit sing in harmony. Anu was curious. So, Apupa, if this mantra Om is really nature's vibration, does it actually connect with the whole universe? What a super question, Apupa explained. Shall we make this an experiment and see what happens? Anu nodded her head in excitement. Let's do it. Apupa joined Anu in his home office. Okay, scientist Anu, let's put this all together. What do you think will happen when you chant Om? I'm not sure, answered Anu reluctantly. What is your best guess, asked Apupa. It's okay not to know all the answers, Apupa said gently. It's an interesting feeling, isn't it? This feeling of not knowing. Do you have the courage to find some answers? Anu nodded. Stay curious and confident, Anu. Trust what you uncover. Apupa continued. There are many ways to explore with Om. Pause to feel your body, breath, and mind. Allow the mantra Om to be held softly in your heart. Pay attention with kindness and care to everything that happens next. Over the next few days, Anu paused and remembered Om in her heart. Most of the time, Anu's mind wandered. Mmm, I love ice cream. Is Pri using my pencil case? I hope I flushed the toilet. Oops. 
But every time her focus drifted away from Om, Anu noticed. The mantra was like a natural reminder, a reminder she could gently bring attention back to sounds, sensations, and feelings right here with each Om. The more Anu allowed each Om to repeat, the more the thoughts in her mind slowed down. Though they never stopped, they didn't seem to grab her attention in the same way. Anu's body was soft and still. Her heartbeat felt safe and calm. Her mind was clear. Her spirit felt free. Her whole self felt focused on just feeling and being with Aum. As Anu sat in silence, a thought popped vividly into her mind. Apupa said, Om is nature's own vibration, the sound of the universe buzzing with life. If the whole world is already singing Om, maybe I don't have to always keep saying it. Maybe I can just, I can also listen. Listen with love to life's Om inside and all around me right now. Full of curiosity, Anu let the effort of chanting go. Confidence in the wisdom she uncovered and holding the spirit of Om softly in her heart, she paid attention with kindness and care to everything that happened next. First, she listened to the sounds coming and going all around her. Sounds kept moving and Anu kept listening. Next, she listened to her body. Was it still buzzing? As a smile naturally settled upon her face, Anu observed that her thoughts were no longer scattered. She was simply noticing everything happening here all at once. Her heart felt light and open. She was happy, she was relaxed, and at the same time, she felt like she could do anything and everything. Anu's heart, body, mind, and spirit felt so full of peace, courage, creativity, and love. Apupa was eager to hear everything Anu was learning with Om, and Anu was just as excited to tell him. Her heart felt full as she revealed her new discoveries. Apupa smiled with pride. Simply being yourself, aware of life as it is happening and experiencing a little something about what that means. This is meditation. I'm so happy you are enjoying it. Let's go share Om with your sister. So the author has included a glossary with definitions of some of the words um, that she included in the story. So I'll read them to you here. Apupa means maternal grandfather in the language Malayalam from the South Indian state of Kerala. Mantra, a sound, word, or phrase that may be repeated to train attention and mental concentration, may also be used as an affirmation or contemplation. Om is a Sanskrit written script for the syllable Om. Meditation, an introspective practice for becoming more familiar with ourselves in relationship with internal and external life experience. Depending on the style and practice, may cultivate certain modes of paying attention like focus and or receptivity. May also reinforce connections to various attitudes and intentions for attending with presence, awareness, wisdom, and care. The end. So the author has also created a, cur a curriculum guide, excuse me, which includes guided meditation practices, uh, reflection activities, and a section about cultural appropriation versus cultural appreciation of the word OM. I think if you are a yoga practitioner or a meditation teacher, it's especially important that you recognize the difference between appreciation and appropriation. So I encourage you to check out the guide. I've put the link in the description of the video below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and please be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Neha Auntie's Reading Room. I would love your feedback and recommendations. Thank you and see you soon.